Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here on this Wednesday night. It is the Earth Master here on this end, February 7th, 2024. It's about 9.38 p.m. here, California time. Uh, doing a quick update video here on this uh, wonderful Wednesday night. Of course, we did see some activity here outside the Mount Rainier area. Uh, earlier this morning, they seen a three-pointer. Uh, something that came in earlier here this evening uh, is an odd earthquake out in the Blake Plateau area off the coast of Florida. Four-pointer coming in. Uh, not for sure if there was any type of military test. You know, sometimes they'll do some type of military test out here that will trigger a seismic wave and uh, come up as an earthquake. I haven't really heard anything. If you have, let us know here in the comments. Kind of curious to see what's going on because earthquake activity is not all that common out here uh, unless it's man-made. All right, a little bit of movement here outside the OKC area once again. This is northeast of the Shawnee area. This is that region that did see that five-pointer out here uh, about a week or so ago now. I believe it's been about a week. Um, got about 63 earthquakes out here in this area of Oklahoma following that 5.1 earthquake that struck here on the 2nd. So about five days ago, pretty decent earthquake out there. Still seeing some aftershock movement. Uh, here's a little strange earthquake down here outside of San Antonio, 3.2. Now this is uh, out here in the oil fields. I, I don't think I have to show the satellite view, but uh, as you can see, all over the place, lots of, lots of oil fields. But for fun, let's show you guys quite a bit of those checkered boxes out here. See these little white checkered boxes? Well, those are oil fields. Um, this specific earthquake, though, that 3.2 occurred, looks like near a community. I don't know if there's some, maybe some older um, oil fields out here, but uh, either way, it is out there where there's plenty of uh, pumping operations. Still seeing some swarming activity down here in the Gulf of California. 4.4 is the latest one, but if you look on the Earthquake 3D Globe, definitely seeing a little swarm of activity here. Uh, also down into the Middle America Trench as well. It's been somewhat elevated. Uh, the only region that we really haven't seen any uptick or noticeable uptick is Southern California, but it may be lighting up out here, at least in the last hour. 1.3 here just off the coast of San Diego. Very, uh, well, it's about seven kilometers deep here. Quite a few little troughs that sit off the Southern California coastline. Uh, aside from that, very minimal earthquake activity there across the region. Just waiting for some of that... Uh, uh, that rainfall that they got to soak into the faults there and possibly could see some elevated movement here soon. Uh, looking out at the broader view here, as you can see, uh, let's see what we got here for the latest earthquake activity here. Looks like a 4.4 in the Philippines region it has been somewhat elevated across this area. Um, definitely can see it there on the earthquake 3D globe. Quite a few threes and fours and a five in there as well. Uh, we got one little earthquake way up into the uh, Russia area, right? It's not showing up here on the uh, map, but uh, it is on the Earthquake 3D globe here. Four-pointer, fairly new earthquake. Seen some movement out here across this area as well. Um, things are somewhat elevated out here across the middle or the uh, Mediterranean region. Um, really not seeing it on the USGS map, but it is on the EMSC model. Let's double check that real quick because things are getting uh, definitely active out here in this area. Uh, Albania seen a 3.8. Also, uh, some uh, three-pointer up there in the Poland area. Uh, now, I'm, they got a little bit of swarm here across the Italy area, northern it Italy. That's been um, swarming off and on all day. A uh, handful of earthquakes out here as well across the rest of the region. 3.1 out there in the English Channel. Fairly recent earthquake. And uh, let's see what we got down here. This, Okay, I don't want that up here. I just want to be able to move the map. Uh, Spain, low 2.3. Um, so yeah, definitely seen some uh, earthquake activity out here. That's uh, um, definitely noticeable, I would say, here on the globe in terms of uh, some broader movement out here. Might want to keep an eye on that region here for some larger quake activity. Um, there's that 3.6 coming in right now to the area. That's in the... Uh, is this a 3.6? 3.8, that's Albania region. Refresh this, make sure I got the most recent imagery. I think I do. All right, so... 
Yeah, I'll keep an eye on things out here. Somewhat elevated. Uh, what else we got out here for uh, any unusual movement? Let me check out the trimmer map here tonight. Just going to do a real quick update. Not going to make this an extended lengthy one. 144 epicenters here of Northern California. Underneath Northern California along the Cascadia subduction zone. Well, deep into the Cascadia, I should say. Somewhat of an uptick. So we'll definitely watch here for some further movement uh, at the surface levels. It seems as though we've been seeing... Uh, uh, some locked areas down here get hit with earthquake activity when we see tremor down into the Cascadia. So keep an eye on this region here. It's just been been acting kind of odd. Low tremor activity, but whenever tremor activity kicks up, uh, we see that uh, earthquake activity up towards the locked area. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, let's see here. I want to know about the earthquake out here. That's kind of an odd quake for sure. Uh, New Zealand? Anything going on down there? New Zealand? Let's see what's up. Uh, looks like a fairly deep four-pointer here. Really deep. Was that there this morning? I'm not for sure if it was or not, but uh, definitely looks like there's some deeper activity. Quakes there stirring up underneath New Zealand. I believe that's the one that was uh, out there earlier this morning during the update. Let's see here. 1.8, 1.9. Yeah, I think it was. Pretty certain it was here, but uh, I'm not even seeing it up here right now. There it is, 4.4. Deep 175 kilometers there underneath this area. I believe that's associated with the uh, uh, Hikarangi subduction zone there. It does extend south here, and of course you get deeper quakes underneath this area. Uh, but for the most part, it uh, doesn't look like anything... Uh, too big is stirring up out there for now. Uh, getting some uh, deeper quake activity up north here. This is from this morning, it looks like, in the older rings. And uh, there's all that clustering going on here across the Philippines. Definitely watch that area. Uh, the big island of Hawaii. Let's see if anything else is going on out here. I know the earthquake activity has been dropping off the map uh, there across the Kilauea volcano. Still something to watch, though. Uh, all that magma went somewhere and it's just not going to disappear. So there's got to be some consequences there with that activity. Um, that's one of the tilt meters here across the area. I do want to see uh, a seismograph station that's local here to the area and see what's going on. This is uh, We had some issues earlier. It went offline once again and it looks as though... It remains offline. 1800 UTC time on the 7th. That is a long time ago. <laughs> We're now into the 2-8 period of the UTC time at uh, almost 0, 0600. So these things are way off coming up on uh, 8 hours or so. Maybe more it looks like of uh, being uh, offline. So uh, I'm not for sure if it's only this station or not. But normally when they all go offline... Or when one goes offline, they all go offline. So yeah, offline once again here, folks. Really can't uh, can't fix the issue here because it seems to be a common occurrence. Not for sure what's going on there, but uh, it's almost an every other day occurrence there. Uh, tilt meter. Um, there's a huge... Well, this isn't really a huge drop-off. Um, it may look like it on the chart, but if you look at these uh, measurements over here, this is very small. And uh, how we know? Well, that is a huge drop-off. We had been building up quite a bit of inflation here at the Kilauea Summit region for a while, and the magma just found its way over to the southwest rift zone, created all that earthquake activity. Now it's just kind of sitting over there, um, and we're starting to swell back up here across the area, except for the last, you know, almost the last 12 hours here going back down. It's uh, just one of those things. We're just kind of watching it. I'd like to be able to see the earthquake uh seismograph stations but i can't i don't uh, i don't have the key to fix it if i did i would uh, but we do have the hot caves hawaii station right here that is live and current monitoring the activity out there a little spike of an earthquake but nothing uh, of major concern right now uh, yellowstone national park see if these guys are online uh, let's see here this is two seven um no, I don't believe these guys are online. 2-7 right here, right? Oh, 2-8 would be right in here. It just it looks like they forgot to put the uh, 
the new, oh right here it's over here now so that's right almost zero six hundred so this is current kind of gave me a little run around there for a minute so these maps are current but i don't see any earthquake activity it looks fairly quiet there across the board folks all right space weather activity <clears throat> not so quiet I've definitely seen the potential here some x flare activity soon i believe uh, I think it's going to be from this regional sunspot right here that looks fairly impressive on that image and also on the magnetogram image here. Uh, that's going to be 3576, right? 3576. Look at that. That is one of the more bigger sunspot regions that I've seen this solar cycle. And there's a lot of complexity here. That is a very complex sunspot. And those are the ones that decide to be... Um, the showstopper, so to speak. They produce these large flares. Uh, so we got to watch that. 3576, it is turning into view. And, um, you know, it's it's got the potential for some X-flare probability. 60% chance above that uh, for the M-flare and C-flare around 99% chance. Uh, no major auroras in the forecast, but that could soon change if uh, 3576 decides to uh, put on a show for us. Either way, easily visible there on the disk. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center, no severe weather threat up uh, threat out here. Did see a severe thunderstorm warning go into effect there in Los Angeles uh, just a short time ago. Um, all right, uh, weather right now. The West Coast, uh, we're going to be drying out here a little bit. There's our storm system that we had today. That's going to be scooting off uh, and out of here. Some colder air definitely venturing down from the north. All the way down even into Texas. See these uh, blue lines here indicating some uh, colder uh, air coming in. Now, it looks as though the GFS model has uh, picked up on a storm a little earlier than predicted uh, out here for the west coast. Uh, not a huge rainmaker, but I believe the one behind that might be a little bit bigger. Uh, either way, it looks like we're going to be in a pattern of wet weather out here across the West Coast once again. Uh, Got to keep an eye on that because it's been consistent. The past couple runs have shown uh, a trend towards wetter weather, and uh, I think that's um, I think that's picking up on that. Uh, the ECMWF model here doesn't quite go all that far there; it only goes out a few hours, it looks like, or at least a couple days. Uh, but either way, things look like they could be picking back up uh, in terms of weather and rainfall out here across the uh, California area. Let's check out these total accumulated precipitation runs here. Not any huge rainmakers, at least for now. This goes out until about the 18th. Um, decent rain, um, you know, but one of these runs here a couple days ago was showing a uh, huge atmospheric river event potentially coming back down into Southern California. So we'll have to um, have to see if that holds true or not. All right, uh, what else we got out here? Yeah, that four pointer is just on, very on. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can get this keyed up here uh 4.0 earthquake florida I really not seen anything shown up here on the news articles or anything uh but yeah let me know let me know if you find anything uh because that's a little weird to see that earthquake way out there off the coast like that a lot of times it's some type of military operation but they will say it on here and i'm really not seeing it uh doesn't say anything about in any type of uh Uh, you know, as to why it happened. It's kind of weird, though. I don't know if we can see it here on this map or not. Sometimes we can. You know, and I'm sure certain operations out there, military operations, would show a different type of uh, seismic wave. Um, I don't know if we'd be able to see it on this. Well, there it is, I guess, a little bit. Kind of hard to say. But uh, I'll have to get back to you guys to, uh, tomorrow unless somebody else finds out and mentions here in the comments about what it may have been. All right, folks, uh, I got to get back here. Me and Missy Mimi's watching a little movie, so I got to get back here and uh, catch up on that. We'll catch you guys back here tomorrow. 
Thursday, right? Thursday. Have a good evening.